what's good youtube i got a fire bill for y'all today this not gonna be a regular play shot this gonna be the two way we gonna get right into it don't forget to hit that like button hit that sub button and hit them post notice too so we gonna go in that point guard and you want to be six six on this build take your weight all the way down to minimum and your wingspan you want to go six six on that too so this one I probably would go with a compact body shape. Yeah, I probably would go with compact because you actually going to have good defense on this build, you feel me? So you don't need to go with the define to get a little more bumps and everything. You're going to be good on this. I'm not even going to hold you. We're going to go right into the speed and acceleration. Max those out real quick. Your vertical. We're going to come back to that. Stamina put that at 97, bro. So we good right here. And we're going to get into... I'm going to show you how the defense in a minute, bro. It's going to be tough. You feel me? I'm going to show you how two different ways. <laughs> it's really going to be fire, bro. But we're going to hit the shooting first. So what's fire about this build is you a 6'6". With Hall of Fame Circus 3s. Not a glitch build, bro. You feel me? You a 6'6". You got... 91 three ball and i'm bro i'm gonna show y'all exactly why we about to put the midi up to exactly where we putting it at in a second so this is not max max badges but you feel me again you don't have to max the badges out we gonna go i'm gonna show y'all where the badges start taking the change at bro oh yeah right here so at 86 at 86, you see you get blinders for a point cheaper. You get sniper for a point cheaper. That is fire right there, bro. You feel me? So that's definitely going to help you out a lot more than not just having one more extra badge, bro. You feel me? You get two separate badges for a point cheaper. Bro, that's two player. You feel me? We're going to go a little higher on the mid, though. We're going to go a little higher. So I'm going to show you why. If you want to put on this badge, we're going to go to 91. So if you want to put on the volume shooter badge on Hall of Fame, bro, definitely go to 91. If you're not worried about Hall of Fame volume shooter, that's cool, bro. A lot of people, a lot of people actually don't rock volume shooter on Hall of Fame. So that's perfectly fine. You feel me? You can go with the 89 right here and still keep 32 shooting badges. But we just gonna go higher on that just to get the uh, the volume shooter cheaper, cause really bro most people don't rock it on hall of fame because it'd be worth six points <laughs> you feel me so if you get it for five points you definitely would be a little more inclined to use that badge we're gonna put your free throw on though put that up to 72 we're gonna put this back up to 91 for right now and bro this is really fire though <laughs> we're gonna put up the playmaking so again on this 6-6 build you see you got a 91 three ball that's elite shooting, bro. You feel me? The, the only thing different is, you feel me, the badges, really. Because 99 is really not even too different of a percentage, bro, than 91. Well, you feel me? Between 90 and 99 is really not much of a difference. But we good right here. The most important thing is the badges that you equip on your build and how many badges you actually got. So that's really what takes the smaller point guards over the top it's, it's a lot of things that take the smaller point guards over the top you feel me but you're gonna be good you're definitely gonna be matching they shooting badges they would a shooting badge count and for your playmaking put up your speed with ball max that out and the ball handle you gotta go with the gold unpluckable so honestly i would go at least 87 but we're gonna get that hall of fame tight handles and we're gonna put that up to 88 I think you could actually drop the ball handle by one if you want to and still keep the same amount of badges. But this fire right here, you got 88 ball handle, you speed boosting. You got literally every dribble package that your height can get, bro. You feel me? The only difference is the six threes and under do got a tier of bad. I mean, not a tier of badges, a tier of animations where you literally just got to be six, three and under. But anything else bro no matter how high the ball handling is bro you got you gonna have that animation and you got over a 75 speed with ball so you good right here and yeah pass act we're gonna put that up to 90. 
so fire, bro. <laughs> you feel me? You got 32 shooting, 30 playmaking, literally everything on Golden Hall of Fame for playmaking, bro. Fire play shot, bro. Yo, wait till y'all see the defense, though. You feel me? We not even halfway done. I'm gonna show y'all a couple things y'all can do with the defense too. So this is this is some heat right here. You got 31. I mean, you got 30, and you feel me? Again, you could drop this right here if you want to. To get 31, though, you gotta go 93 on a pass act. And I'm not even gonna hold you. It's yo, it's crazy taxing on your build, bro. You get 32 at 97, where you'll get the Hall of Fame bullet passer. Just showing y'all real quick, but. I definitely would keep that at 90 because, bro, them pass act points, they worth a lot, bro. <laughs> you feel me? And to be able to do what we're doing in a defensive area, this is, bro, you, you're going to need to have that at 90. We really had to kind of finesse, you feel me, to even get the pass act up to 90. But we're going to go down here to the driving dunk. You're going to put that up to 75. So this is really... But if you plan on coming in the paint, really at all, bruh. Because if you coming down to the paint, just when it's wide open, you really just need a 65 driving dunk at the lowest. I would say a 50 you can do with that, bruh. A 50 driving dunk. But I honestly wouldn't recommend 50. I would go as close to 60 as I can, bruh. You feel me? I know, I know for a fact 50 you do get dunks consistently but at the same time they do give you some layups like some wide open where you should dunk it you feel me and that's really going to be the difference between having under a 70 driving dunk and you feel me having over 70 because you actually got the bronze posterizer badge but again even if you got lower than a 70 driving dunk you really just don't need the badge to dunk you just need the badge if you plan on dunking it every time you down there wide open bro because I know it could be some situations where you'll go, you you'll have a wide open fast break dunk and everything, bro. And they throw you into that layup animation when if you're not expecting it, you feel me, bro? It's going to be it's going to look a little crazy. You feel me? And somebody can chase you down. So you will want to make sure you got at least 60 on a driving dunk, I would say, bro. For real, for real. 70 if you can, but I'm about to show y'all. I'm about to show y'all something right now. You got nine finishing badges, though. You got slithery finisher and limitless takeoff. These are very important, bruh. So we didn't just go 75 on a driving dunk just to get the front clutches. The front clutches is a very a very important reason why we did, you feel me? Want to go 74 or want to go 75, but the badges, even if you're not throwing on them dunk packages, the badges at 74, you definitely gonna need them badges, bruh. So and yeah bro yo it's it's a difference between just having 70 bro I, you feel me i don't want to elaborate too long on it but with a 70 driving dunk i definitely got a 70 driving dunk on one of my bills bro on my 511 and i dunk consistently bro i rarely ever get a layup animation unless it's unless it's contested you feel me at the same time i still throw those down you feel me over the defense sometime bro you feel me gotta get down there quick enough but not having limitless takeoff on silver, I, I could care less about the slithery, you feel me, since I'm not getting like the pro contact dunk animations and everything. But my limitless takeoff is on bronze. And if I bro, if I had I, I noticed that, you feel me, I don't dunk it until I get all the way down, like super close, like close to the rim. And you feel me? Y'all y'all would notice the difference if y'all ran without limitless takeoff versus gold limitless takeoff and everything. It's a huge difference. No matter what dunk package you got on, it's always going to be a, a big difference. So on to the perimeter defense. We're going to put this up to 89. So you're getting the Hall of Fame pick dodger. Fire on it, bro. This is a play shot build, bro. <laughs> you feel me? We put in the perimeter up to 89. On a play shot, you're going to put the steal up to 86. So that's fire right there too. You actually got the gold pickpocket badge. You got gold interceptor. And really, you don't need either of those badges higher. I would say pickpocket is better on Hall of Fame. But after the latest patch, like Hall of, like Hall of Fame interceptor is 
it's really not what it used to be, bro. You feel me? On depending on what bills you on, but you feel me? I know bigger bills with longer wingspan and everything. It's a little bit easier. We gonna get into the block though. So your block rating, you gonna want to put this to 65, and that's gonna give you silver intimidator. You got silver pogo, and you got bronze chase down. So you actually wouldn't bro yeah i wouldn't say you would have to put on pogo or anything like that but again the defensive badge count you feel me i'm about to show y'all how to get more badges if y'all want to do that i would definitely i would definitely put intimidator on bronze at least because it seemed like silver intimidator is really just for in the paint and everything bro well intimidator in general it seemed like it's just been the paint still even after they patched the intimidator well buffed it and everything to where it's supposed to work on the perimeter yeah it'll light up on the perimeter but you can't get nobody to miss a shot with even hall of fame intimidator bro on the on the perimeter bro you're not lowering a percentage at all with that badge so i don't even know why 2k cap to us you feel me i'm gonna show you how to get a little bit more Finishing, I mean, not finishing, uh, defensive badges. It's a fire setup, though, right here. You got 9, 32, 30, and 17. And again, if you got, say, you got your eight uh, extra badges laying around, you definitely could add those on defense if you just want to get up to 25 real quick. Or I definitely would probably go shooting or playmaking. But yeah, it depends on how much you want to lock up and everything. But again, I'm about to show y'all how to get more defensive badges so we're gonna go down to 86 right here i think 86 or it's 85 i'm about to I'm about to double check it though we're gonna go down to 70 right here so this way you still keep the bronze posterizer badge and hold on oh yeah we did take the midi down to yeah we took it down to 86 right there so you still keep in the uh the blinders for cheaper and the sniper for cheaper and we got 20 on it though hold on so this way you could go with 20 defensive badges yo this is fire bro I'm not even gonna hold you. So you you did lose a shooting badge. You only lost one shooting badge, but in return you got three defensive badges. Yo, that is that's honestly fire, bro. That's too tough. We gonna uh we gonna keep yeah, yeah, yeah for a fact. We just gonna keep this at 86. And what else did I put on, bro? I definitely put something else up. Oh yeah, it was the perimeter. Oh yeah, we just gonna throw this on the uh, on the stamina and the free throw. You feel me? We good right there, bro. That's perfect, bro. Fire build, fire play shot again, bro. You feel me? You got this way. You got seven, thirty-one, thirty, and twenty. You feel me? So you did lose the finishing badges too, but. That's just considering you didn't really care too much about the finishing. We're going to throw this back on right quick, though. Put this back to 89. This back to 75. And, oh, yeah, the free throw. But that's fire right there. We gonna uh, yeah, we gonna get into the badges real quick. You got the shot creating tape. You got sharp playmaking and a lock. Fire, bro. <laughs> so for a play shot, I would definitely go with the limitless range takeover first. And you could even go, you could go with a playmaking take or a lock take second. Yeah, yo, for a play shot, if you really getting it in, playmaking like that, bro, I definitely would go with the team ratings boost. But, again, you, you might want to go with that first. You feel me? It depend on what you're trying to do and everything. Because you might be one of the play shots that's mainly just going to be doing most of the scoring and everything. And that's understood, too, bro. I know, I know some people uh, 
feel like since you on a play shot, you should be making plays. You should be passing the ball, bro. You feel me? You, bro, you got to put on a lot of playmaking on your build just to get the playmaking badges, bro. So you feel me? Just to get a lot of playmaking badges. So I definitely understand. You feel me? If you're not, uh, if you're not facilitating like that, Bro, as long as you scoring, bro, as long as you scoring consistently and y'all winning, bro, GG. <laughs> you feel me? We're going to put these badges on, though. You got the blinders for a little cheaper. You got Hall of Fame Circus 3s on this build. And I'm going to just show y'all the, uh, the shooting and the playmaking badges real quick. I don't want to hold y'all too long. My fault. You is going to want to put on a corner specialist, chef on gold. And, bro, yo, is we forgetting anything, bro? We is not, bro. Yo, this is fire right here. Only other thing is if you not rocking with circus threes, you feel me? You actually could put more onto green machine and put that eye on silver. A couple things you could do with it. Bullet passer gold, hyperdrive gold, quick chain gold. Bailout, dimer, depend on what you want to put that on and everything, bruh. Because you did go with the playmaking take two, you feel me? So if you're going to be boosting their attributes, bruh, you feel me? They're going to have to take what they get. I ain't going to hold you. <laughs> put your tight handles on though. This for six points on Hall of Fame, but we going to go. we going to go with this silver right here. Depend on what you put more points on, bruh, because, oh yeah, the silver handles for days is good money too. Especially in a park, but if you uh, if you put more points into your playmaking and your shooting, then you feel me. You definitely could do a little bit more with it, and that's definitely what I would do, bro. Honestly, or you could like if you bro if you make your if you make the build just like this with the 17 defensive badges, I would say you should probably put a few badges on it and everything in the defensive area. But if you made it the other way where you got 20 defensive badges. I wouldn't even say you would need more defensive badges than that. You you really could pick and choose, but then that's eight straight, you feel me, for your, your shooting and your playmaking. And again, remember, we had only lost one shooting badge that other way we made it. So, you feel me, you would have a different count. But I'm going to hit y'all on the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button. Be easy.